Rob, I have a spool of cotton from a sewing machine here, and if I place that on the table and then pull on the cotton thread, do you think the spool will run away from my fingers or toward my fingers? Um, well, I think if you pull on that thread, it will uh, run away from your fingers. All right, let's see if you're right. Uh, no, actually, it seems to be coming <laughs> all the way up to my fingers. <laughs> well, it won't always do that, will it? No, actually, I can make it go away from my fingers if I pull up in this fashion here. Mm. There it is. It runs away, and it'll keep running away until it's completely unraveled. Here's a problem for you, Rob. Mm -hmm. Can you pull on the cotton in such a way that it neither runs away nor toward your fingers, but stays the same distance from your fingers and just skids across the table. All right, well, let's see. By pulling horizontally, it comes to me. Yes. By pulling vertically, it goes away. There must be a point in between where I can make it do neither and just skids like that. There we are. Right. Skidding. Skidding all the way across the table. We'll be back in a minute to show you how you can turn a spool of cotton into a bicycle. We've turned a spool of cotton into a bicycle, and now we have a different problem. Rob, I've attached a rope to the pedal. If I put it in that position there, down below, and then pull on the rope, what do you think will happen to the bicycle if you just steady it with your hand? Will it go forwards, backwards, or stay where it is? Well, pedals are designed to drive it forward, and the pedals are always going in that direction. So if you're pulling the pedal in that direction, it must make the bike go forward. Well, let's see if it does. I'll pull on the pedal and the whole thing comes backwards. Oh, so much for that. <laughs> Watch what happens though, this is interesting. If we start with the pedal in that position again, the pedal is actually going forwards relative to the bicycle. But it's going backwards relative to Rob, relative to my hand, it's staying in the same position. It's an interesting problem and it's one worth trying in the backyard. And that's all for today's Curiosity Show. Goodbye. Goodbye. Curiosity